Well, hey there, New Hope. Welcome to another edition of Daily Hope. My name is Justin Domino, and today, going through our book of Proverbs, we are reading chapter 7, verses 24 and 25. And it says, Now then, my sons, listen to me. So this is King Solomon speaking to his sons once again. He says, Pay attention to what I say. Do not let your heart turn to her ways or stray into her paths. Many are the victims she has brought down. Now, immediately when I read this verse, I was thinking, man, we gotta really watch out for other people. Like, right, don't let other people cause us to sin. But as I reread this, as I study this a little bit more, what even comes before that is that we are told, don't let our heart turn to her ways. Now, this whole verse is coming from this whole story of this woman who seduced this man into having an affair. And while that's good, I think there's some general wisdom, right? I should say that's not good, right? But there's some general wisdom in this passage that that's not just about affairs or cheating in our marriage or anything like that, but there's general wisdom when it comes to, we don't want to be led into sin in general. And so, what it's talking about is, man, when before anybody else causes us to sin, before we can even blame anybody else for causing us to, st- us to stumble, what happens is our heart is inclined to go down that way. You know, I think of myself and my addiction to, to pop and Mountain Dew specifically, and I've talked about this a lot when I preach on Sundays, but man, for years and years and years, it seems like I have like two or three Mountain Dews a day, and it's terrible, and it's, it's convicting, but as of today, the day that I'm filming this, I've only had one in the past week, so clap for me wherever you are. No, I'm kidding. But The reason I'm addicted to pop, the reason I'm addicted to Mountain Dew is because my heart just desired. Every time I'm like, oh, I'm gonna give it up for a little bit, my heart is like, ah, but I really, really want it, right? This is what happens with sin. We can't blame other people for our sins. Our hearts are naturally inclined to go down that route. And so here's my encouragement for you today. We need to check where our hearts are at because we can easily be seduced into any sort of sin, pride, idolatry, even adultery, right in this passage, but to any sort of sin, we can easily be seduced into it. So we have to check our hearts. And every single morning, we have to spend time with God and say, God, search me, know me, clean me, and lead me down a righteous path today. So wherever you're at today, spend time with God first. Check your heart, let God allow you to change and transform and be on the right path. Let's pray together. God, we thank you so much, Lord, for who you are. Lord, today speak to us, convict us, change our hearts, cleanse our hearts. Lord, we're asking you to do the work that only you can do, to lead us down a path that is holy and righteous and good. Continue to lead us, continue to love us. Lord, we love you. It's in your name I pray. Amen. Well, have a great day, New Hope. God bless.